For this problem, we are being asked to evaluate this rather intimidating looking expression. But um, please understand this. When you have the sine of something, that's an angle. So all of this in here is some angle theta. Now, we will never know what this angle is. We don't need to know what the angle is. We just need to find the sine of this angle. Um, we need to find the sine of theta. And I'm going to show you how to find that sine without having to know what theta is. Okay? Now, um, for now, focus on the inside part. Okay? Um, arc cosine of this. So this tells us that um, theta okay is equal to the uh, inverse cosine or arc cosine of negative 9 over radical 145 well that means that cosine of this angle is equal to negative 9 over radical 145. This helps us because we know that um, on, a, on the unit circle uh, cosine is defined as x over r. Okay, I mean I say the unit circle, it doesn't really have to be a unit circle for this to work. But just in general, um, if you have an angle like this, all right, like if this is theta, um, then r is the length, and then you know you have an x and a y. In fact, I'm not even sure why I drew the circle at all. Okay, so when I talk about um, x and r, this is what I'm talking about, this picture right here. So cosine is x over r. So that means that x is negative 9 and r is radical 145. Okay, uh, now here's something that you need to know. Inverse cosine or arc cosine is not defined everywhere. It's limited. So you need to memorize this or write this down. Inverse cosine is only defined for the top half of the unit circle. Okay, so inverse cosine is only defined here. And um, just for the sake of your notes, uh, go ahead and include the following in your notes as well. Um, inverse sine. is only defined on the right hand side of the unit circle. Okay, so write this down or memorize that. Okay, so that's important because now I know that I'm only dealing with the first and second quadrant. So, considering that I'm only dealing with the first and second quadrant, and the x value is negative, that tells me that I'm talking about the second quadrant. Okay, so here's theta right here. All right, but let's make our little triangle. So this hypotenuse is r, and we know that's going to be um, radical 145. Okay, um, we know the x value is negative 9, so this is negative 9 right here. Um, the y value is right here, uh, but we don't know what that is yet. But eventually, we need to find sine theta. We need to find the sine of this angle. Um, and sine is y over r, so we need to know what y is. 
So looking at this picture, how do I find y? Um, I can just use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So that means y squared, um, negative 9 squared is 81, is equal to c squared. Okay, so that's radical 145 squared. So you probably know that if you square a radical, the radical just goes away. So, of course, then we will subtract 81 from both sides. So that gives us y squared is equal to 64, which tells us that y is either uh, plus or minus 8. Well, considering the quadrant that we're in, y is positive 8. Okay, so, um, so y is equal to 8. So getting back to business, um, we are supposed to find the sine of this angle. Okay, um, so remember that the sine is y over r. But we just found that y is 8, positive 8. All right, so that's 8 over r, which we already knew to be radical 145. So the sine is 8 over radical 145. So the answer is A. OK, let's scroll down and check our answer just to be sure. Check it out. We got it.